Lucy, we want you to stay. Lucy! <laughs> we must learn the police to speak to her, I think. There's like a big sandstorm heading my way. Welcome to Menang. Alright guys, we're hitting the road. Bismillah, let's do this. <laughs> Lucy, we want you to stay. Sorry? I was just talking to her. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, just know the terms and conditions. If you come with us, yeah. it's going to be rough. It's going to be colder. It's going to get more extreme. Oh. She came a long way, we, we love her, but uh, you know, it only gets more crazier out there, really. And she can't come through the pass as well, sure. obviously, because it's like no. <laughs> gonna be snowy. says I've got uh, 11 or 12 kilometers to go started off at, started off at uh, 14 kilometers and uh, we started at 7.50 now it's 8.43 so that's pretty good to be honest We've done two kilometers in about an hour uh, about four and a half hours left and uh, 12 kilometers with an incline of just 210 meters Lucy, watch out! Lucy! Lucy! <laughs> we must learn Nepalese to speak to her, I think. Hey, Lucy! Cholo! Oh, there you go. She doesn't understand English. thing about trekking is you have to learn to control your heart rate and it's sometimes it's hard because naturally when you're going in a steep incline you're out of breath and then when you stop to catch your breath you're hyperventilating almost where you're breathing in and out through your mouth but the key is to breathe through your nose and out your mouth and honestly it makes a huge difference I'm about to reach my first town, Hume Day. It's just up ahead of us. It's got uh, Menang Airport as well. So I think they do emergency flights, resources, and everything from here.
Namaste, Dai. How are you doing? Good, alhamdulillah. It's a nice little town. Pretty quiet. A couple of people around. I've seen military people. They got a bank. We wait a bit outside the village because there were there were some big fights with the dog. Really? <laughs> Which one? Is this next to the military? The, the two bigs uh, in the beginning. Uh, next to the bank. Yeah. The UK. Very fight. Big fight. Yeah. Big fight. Yeah? Like Oh, did she get hurt? No, I think not. She she stay up. Please? Underneath yeah. there, yeah, yeah. The toughest thing about a trek is when you're ascending up, it takes all your energy, mental and physical. And the best thing about trekking is when you're descending, this is when you cover the most distance. about 10.50 a.m. We've got just under five kilometers to go. So we're hoping to be there inshallah by two hours, five minutes, two hours, 10 minutes. So 12.50, one o'clock. Oh, she likes the ice. The dog had like two broken legs. Namaste. Namaste. How are you? Very good. Yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. It's like a big sandstorm heading my way.
welcome to Manang. Is uh, is the owner here? He's in there. Hey. Boss, namaste. How you going? Do you remember me? These are my friends. Let me ask these guys. Uh, Dai, do you know where our restaurant is? Restaurants, not like no hotel restaurant, just restaurant. Just restaurant? Yeah, like cheap. My friend Kulata. Cheap restaurants. We can go there. Where is there? Uh, With a motor, the motorbike? The, 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 motorbike. The, the bike over here. Yeah. The green. You know, ah, the green uh, thing. You can see the here the blue color. Yes. We can go there. The blue thing is the thing. Yeah, restaurant over there. That one is also a restaurant. The green roof. Okay. Also a restaurant. Yeah, I see someone sticking his yeah. head out. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, mashallah. Own toilet, uh, three beds only, so double and a single, huge table. Oh, alhamdulillah. Oh. Ah. I'm going for a bit of a stroll. Don't have the appropriate footwear. Namaste, Dai. Namaste. How are you? Fine. Good. Sorry, I didn't want to wake you up. Uh, she's sleeping. It's I don't. Okay. It's okay. Acha. I'll do chowmin. Chowmin? Yeah, yeah. You do veg chowmin? Okay. Yeah. Basically, what I'm doing. This is really, really nice. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> guys, it's been maybe two hours or so. I've been indoors, I've just been calling family back home, speaking to my mom, my sister, my brother, and uh, just, yeah, just relaxing. I'm probably going to end the vlog here. Later on, I'm going to go grab some dinner and just relax with the boys up there, play some more card games, just socialize with everybody that's around there. I uh, met some really cool people here, like, you know, some Swedish fella, uh, some Chinese Dutch and uh yeah cool told the swedish guy is somali and he told me how yeah, there's a lot of swedish somali swedish oh there's a lot of huge community of somalis in sweden i said yeah man it's crazy i've never been to europe but uh inshallah i'd love to go there and meet the community one day same as the netherlands as well uh but long story short guys i'm gonna relax for the rest of the night tomorrow is a day off so i'll show you guys around the town and uh, take you guys on a bit of an adventure maybe inshallah potentially if i'm not too fatigued because right now i'm crashing out um but again alhamdulillah for a safe journey we always praise and thank allah 
and we arrived in our destination safely um, especially when so many things can go wrong so alhamdulillah for that and yeah guys stay tuned for tomorrow's episode make sure you like subscribe and uh, leave a comment or so Bye, salam.